Hi everyone, I'm Sean, your new voice acting and voiceover instructor. Today's lesson is, don't be afraid to be silly. As voice actors, we're asked to portray larger-than-life characters acting in larger-than-life situations. And since people can only hear our voices, we need to use our entire bodies, our entire faces, to convey extreme emotions like laughter, anger, and sadness. But luckily, since no one can see us, we don't have to care about how silly we look. If we care about how we look, we're no longer thinking from the perspective of the character we're portraying, right? I can tell you right now, you're going to look silly doing your warm-ups. How much curry can a great chef add if the kitchen is all out of curry and especially during your actual projects we 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 what we so i'll leave you with a short warm up to improve your breathing loosen up your face and neck and get you used to the idea of looking silly during class and your own practice this warm up is called ghost face motorboat first Let's take a few deep breaths, in through the nose, out through the mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Now, we're going to do our best Dementor impression and inhale with our mouths open. You should feel your jaw lowering and stretching as we do this. You can do this silently. Or adding your own little ghostly moans as you see fit. Now, as we exhale, we're going to do what's called a lip trill. You might have heard this referred to as a motorboat or a raspberry, but it's also called a lip trill. So, let's try that again. Inhale through the nose. Lip trill. Inhale through the nose. Motorboat. Let's try them together. Ghost face inhale. Motorboat exhale. Ghost face inhale. Motorboat exhale. One more time. Ghost face inhale. Motorboat exhale. That's it. I hope this exercise helps you get used to the idea of not being afraid to be silly. Have a wonderful day, and I can't wait to work with you in class. Bye, everyone.